what we're now going to do is take our Dreamweaver piece and customize it a little bit further by looking at the preferences area within the program. I do have a page open, so in case you don't, in case you're in this welcome screen, the green screen here, go ahead and just click Create New HTML. What that's going to do is activate a page so all of your panels are activated. Now what I want to do is go over to the Edit menu. So if you're on the Mac side, you will have a menu that says Dreamweaver on it, and that's where the preferences are located on the Mac side. On the PC side, they're located in the Edit menu, and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. So I'll click on Preferences. And what I want to do is customize this area a little bit. Now that green welcome screen I just clicked on, if you decide you don't like that particular screen, you do have the option to uncheck it right here in the general category within the preferences. The one thing that I want to make sure is set up on your system are these two here within editing options. So within preferences, I'm in the general category, the top one on the left, and I'm going to make sure the fourth item here, this one, allow multiple consecutive spaces is checked. The next one I want is this piece here. Use strong and M in place of B and I. I'll explain this a little bit further when we get into the HTML5 piece. But the assumption here is we're going to be working with HTML5 as the doc type so that we're prepared for web pages moving forward. Any new web pages I create, I use HTML5. So what I want to do is uncheck this. What this is doing is making sure that what we do is XHTML compatible. And if none of that makes any sense to you, don't worry, it will. I'll take a look at the doc type comparisons later, but since I'm in preferences, I want to uncheck this one. I'm also going to go down to the new document area and notice my default document here is HTML. These are the other options that are available, but I want to keep it as HTML. The default extension I'm going to use throughout the course is the full.html extension. It is possible and very common to use .htm instead. Older computers used to drop the L, so there are a lot of websites created using just .htm. My website is .html, so I want to make sure I keep the L in there as default. Now the other thing I'm going to do is set this default document type and generally speaking when you install Dreamweaver it's going to be set here as XHTML transitional. And what I'm going to do is use that dropdown and change it to HTML5. The other piece I want to change within this new document area is this one here. I'm going to uncheck it. This is a dialog box that has a lot of options in it. And what I want to be able to do is use this shortcut here to create a brand new page. So on Windows, it's Control N. On the Mac side, it will be Command N. And if this is checked, that shortcut won't give you a new page. So just make sure that's unchecked. I'm also going to click on Preview in Browser. And what this is going to do is allow you to view the various browsers that are available on your system. Now, the browsers you have installed do get attached to Dreamweaver. But quite often, you're going to end up installing browsers after Dreamweaver is installed. So I'll take a look at this particular setting in here in a separate lesson. But the preview in browser is where you would go to adjust the browser setup. And most of the time when you're working in Dreamweaver, you'll find you want to add or get rid of a browser within this area. So I'll have a separate lesson on that one. So that is the, those are the general preferences I tend to modify within the program. There is one other one that I think we're not technically getting too much into code, but I think you'll find it helpful. And that is within the fonts area. Now let me point something out. This is new to Dreamweaver CC 
or the Creative Cloud version. In Code View, there is a new font that's available. So you can see Times New Roman is listed up here, but in Code View, we're moving into Source Code Pro. And I think you'll find this is a much easier font to be able to work with within Code View, and it's default now. The other thing that Adobe has done within Code View is they've changed the default sizing for Code View. It's now much more readable. It's used to end up nine point by default, and I always had to change it on every system. And that got a bit old. So now, by default, it's 11 points. So you can read the code easier. And even if you don't plan to be typing a lot of code, you will end up needing to get into the code view if you plan to work on websites. And you'll find that's very helpful, having it this size. Now, if you decide you want to make it smaller and larger, you certainly can here. What I'll do is just keep it the Dreamweaver CC default sizing, at least for now. So those are the preferences that I wanted to set within the preferences area. And now that those are all set up, I'll just close up my preferences here and I should be all set. Those are the standard preferences I tend to change within Dreamweaver on whatever system I'm in. And even if you end up working in an older version of Dreamweaver, you'll find those preferences haven't changed that much. So you'll be comfortable even in those older environments. But that is modifying preferences within the Dreamweaver program. Every web page we open will now use and be set to those exact same preferences within Dreamweaver.